Welcome back guys to Micro Tips and Tricks. <laughs> My name is Ophia and I actually have a macro for you guys on inventory sorting. Now I had um, been playing around with this macro for quite some time and I really find it to be a very convenient tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run the macro and let you guys look at it. So this is my armory chest. Everything is set up as if you would just go and click and sort the items. And this is my inventory list. So using this macro, we can actually set this up to where it will be broken down into a little bit different. Now, if you look, everything in my armory now is set up. with the highest item level at the top and the lowest item level in the bottom and then it does everything in alphabetical order from highest to lowest and that's a really cool and really I mean, really good if you're trying to find something that's you know you're, you're trying to wear for your your class depending on what level it is always put your highest level item in the, in the top but also I've had here where it broke down everything that I have in my inventory into its own separate tab. So weapons, tools, and armor gets its own tab. Consumables gets its own tab. And then whatever's left over will go for crafted materials. So that's a really cool macro. Now if we look at this macro, it's using an I sort command. And if we pull up I sort, which also stands for inventory sort, so we come down to I's, we come to inventory sort. Again, here's the two usage: item sort, slash item sort, or slash I sort. Depends on which one you want to use. Now, with this, we need two sub commands. But the thing about this is that we need two commands to execute one command. So we need the I sort conditions and I sort execute to run one type of command. Okay, and I'm gonna break this down a little bit because it, it's a little bit difficult to understand because we get three subcommands. One is condition, like you see up here at the top. Two is execute, which you see right here. It executes the command that, or it executes command with the conditions that we have on the top one. So it makes a little bit of sense there. Oops. Alright, so if we look at the if we look at the subcommands, a condition needs a category, a condition, and an order in order to properly function. And the execute needs just a category to to operate. Okay, so we need and this is our categories and these are our conditions and this is our order. So we got inventory, armor, off, uh, main hand, off hand, overhead, hands, and so on for categories. We got IDs, spirit bond category, and that is you'll use category if you don't want to specify a actual um, condition. Uh, we got level, item level, stack, high quality materials, and, and so on. Uh, there's you can break it up by so many different things. And here I use the tab on the second one, and that is where you saw where it broke everything up into its own tabs. That was really cool. And then the orders we have are ascending and descending orders. Okay. So if we look at this macro here, we have I sort condition. All right. And our category for this condition is the armory. All right. So that's telling us we want to sort the armory. Okay. And then we have it where we want to sort it by eye level in a descending order. So the condition is eye level and the order is descending. So we would type that in here. Now, of course, we if we want it, we can just click on here. All right, so we got item sort, condition. And then we can do, um, what is another one we can do? We can do, all right, so let's say main hand, so M, H, 
So our main hands, we want to do by Spirit Bond. Spirit Bond would be our Spirit Bond would be our condition here. I can spell Spirit Bond. <laughs> And then we want uh, that also in descending order. All right. So in order for this to work, we need to add in item sort or I sort and execute. And then we need to put down the execute as MH, our main hand. It, don't, it doesn't give you the option to type main hand, but that's what MH stands for is main hand. All right. Now, this should also, it will, the armory will set in eye level, eye level and descending. And then the arm, uh, the inventory will set in, in uh, a tab ascending and then it will sort my main hands by spirit bonds in the descending order so let's look at, take a look at that see how that works so we got my main hands here and I'm gonna hit the macro one more time All right. so now it set everything from the highest item level that I have spirit bond this one's 95 this one is 71 this one is 65 so you see everything is going from the highest item level or highest spirit bond level that I have. The lowest spirit bond level, this one is zero. Okay, these are hundreds. So I guess the hundreds stay at the bottom. I don't know why I did that in that order. But uh, yeah, that's zero, and that's zero, it's one. That's one, that's one, that's, one. that's 11, that's you know, go up. Kind of odd that it puts the hundreds at the bottom, but I guess that would be makes sense. They're no longer being able to spirit bond. Alright guys, <clears throat> that is all I have on this um, macro guide for you today. And it's pretty interesting little macro. I would uh, like to see what you guys can come up with. See what you would uh, do with this item and how you would work with it. If you do, just leave me a comment down below if you decide to play around with this macro a little bit and uh, let me know. Alright guys, so that's all I got for today. I wish you a good afternoon and a take care. I will, and as always guys, I will see you guys next time.